Hi, my name is John Givens, and today we're going to look at correcting an upslip. Before we actually perform the correction, I want to show you how we, we assess forward. So there's a few things we would look for. Number one, the iliac crest on that side, in this case the right side, would appear higher compared to the left side. The PSIS, the posterior superior iliac spine, would also appear higher. We come on to the ischial tuberosities and we come down and up on, and again the right side seems to be up on that right. So we've already got the three landmarks. If we were to turn a patient over, we would notice the ASIS is superior on the right, and the medial malleolus, as in the leg length, would appear to be shorter on that right side. Now, if you come down a couch, please, so the knees are just hanging off the edge. I'll do arms hanging, head to one side. Because when we pull the leg, we don't want to irritate the neck, and we don't want the patient holding on, because it facilitates activation of the lats. Straddle the right leg, and then internally rotate the leg, which locks the hip, so now the focus is onto the sacroiliac joint, or the iliosacral in this case. This hand to stabilize the left denominate. Cradle and come onto the tippy toes. So I'm squeezing the leg, because the movement is going to be from my knees extending, so I'm straightening my legs. At the same time, I'm palpating the PSIS, and I go to the point the bind, and from the bind I ask the patient, can you pull the hip up please? So that's a hip hitching technique, and we're using the right QL. And now and again, the right QL could be the responsible muscle for holding the innominate in an upslip position. After 10 seconds, relax, take a breath, and on the out breath, I'm simply palpating and pulling, so I'm causing a, a caudal traction to the leg to try to bring the innominate back to its neutral position. And again, we can do that two or three times. If you feel there's a, a thrust is needed, a high velocity thrust, then make sure that you are appropriately qualified to do this. And if you palpate the PSIS, apply traction until you feel the bind. When you feel the bind, a quick thrust is induced cordially, so I quickly straighten my legs. And then for the percentage of the population, you would feel an audible cavitation to that right PSIS. And that is how you would correct a right upslip.